Hello, good evening folks and welcome to Blackstar HQ this evening um, for November's webcast. Um, I'm Steve from Blackstar and tonight we're looking at the low wattage options from Blackstar that's on the market right now. And this might be a good idea for you if you're looking to maybe treat yourself for the seasonal period coming up or maybe you're looking to get somebody uh, a small amplifier as a present and we've got quite a lot in the price range here going from you know a mid-priced you know 300 400 pounds options right down to um, 50 pounds that kind of price point uh, here in the UK but um, elsewhere you can get the vibe from from those costs um, so the first thing I was just jamming through there was the HT5 which is a 5 watt valve combo um, and really this is going to be a little bit of a history lesson for you as well because the, the, the HT5 was the first low wattage small product that Blackstar brought out uh, along with the HT1 shortly after. Um, they're both valve amplifiers so they're really a warm sounding uh, guitar tone uh, and they each have you know um, a clean channel and a, an overdrive crunch channel um, but there are some really unique options with with them um, they both have built-in reverb as well um, so let's just go through some sounds um, for anybody that uses um, single core guitars or humbucking guitars out there um, my music man reflex will simply allow me to um, go to single coil mode or go to humbucker there so I'll play through different options um, the humbucker being more of a warmer sound, the single core being more of a kind of cut through, more presence in, in the tone. Um, so it will give you hopefully a good representation of both on the tones I'm going through. Um, the amplifiers in front of us here are more of the up-to-date digital range, which will which will come to um, thereafter from the valve. So this is um, this is our clean tone, and I'm going to start on single coil so you can get a good good vibe from that so we'll see what we can come up with I'm going to add a little bit more reverb get some ambience there in my playing and a little bit more on the volume so we're around about halfway now On to humbuckers. bridge mm -hmm. 
Now, can you hear that when I'm going to the bridge pickup, especially in the humbucker mode, um, I'm getting a little, a lot more grunt there, um, more break up in the clean sound, and that's going to basically lead on to what I'm going to tell you next. If you push the volume um, past the halfway point on the HT5, you can really start to get that boutique um, clean sound, which is on the edge. You know, it's just breaking up, especially with a bit more of a treble boost. Um, on the controls of this amp, you basically have a volume for the clean and a single tone control for the clean. Um, the overdrive has a three-tone EQ, three-tone stack, bass, middle, treble, and our patent ISF, which only works on the overdrive channel there. But um, we can push the trebles on the on the clean channel here and get a lot more of a, an edgier, clean sound. <laughs> quite cool you know you can really dig in there and you can get where I'm going with those kind of big windmills that kind of break up you know really cool so onto the overdrive channel and I'm I've got the gain control around about nine o'clock so it's you know, rolled off so this allows me to if I'm on humbucker or single coil it allows me to really roll my volume on the actual guitar and utilize it to, to back off the gain or the saturation so if we start off, off full let's give it a little bit more level there Okay. So we can really we can really dig in um, and roll it off if we need to. Now I can turn the gain up quite a lot here and now I'm gonna show you how the ISF utilizes some different tones so at the moment we're all the way clockwise we're all the way on and that inherits more of a kind of british pushed mid types type tone more kind of a, a woodier sound <laughs> If I roll the volume, sorry, the gain up and bring the ISF anti-clockwise all the way off, we inherit more of a kind of scooped mid sound. So we can get more of a, a modern high gain if you like. So uh, sticking with the humbucker really on the bridge there. <laughs> So we can really get wonderful amounts of sound from the nice cleans, the breakups, you know, the, that just on the edge clean, classic crunch, super ultra high gain. Now, you might be thinking that's still pretty loud. Um, of course, we've got volume on each channel. So at home, this will still give you the warmth 
and the feel of, of a valve amplifier. You know, if you're used to using valve amplifiers, you just can't beat that feel under your fingers, um, the smell of the valves burning. Uh, and this is what the 5 and the 1 will give you. Um, so at low volumes, I can get tons of gain. At a much lower volume. It might be cool if I speak over the playing as well, so you can get the drift of where we are volume wise with that. So you can see. I'm still talking away, hello. So you can really get that nice tone, it's useful for recording, you know, you could put a mic in front of there, but also underneath the, the, the back of the amplifier we've got lots of interesting stuff going on, we've got speaker outputs, we've got an emulated line out as well which we were talking about just with recording, you can take a cable from there, standard guitar cable, go direct into your mixer um, or your digital audio workstation, anything like that, PA system, and you can take a signal from the amplifier. Um, and also what you can do then, just to um, let you know if you're playing late at night or you live in a small apartment, you can put the amplifier in standby and still use the, the, the signal from the emulated out direct into your recorder so you can get all the sounds of the valves burning um, without bothering the neighbours, so to speak. So a really useful option, of course you can mic it if you wish as well. There is an MP3 line in. Um, which, while I'm on the subject to that, all of the amplifiers we're looking at, including the digital stuff and the valve stuff here, all have an MP3 line in, so you can stick your, your, your phone in there or your MP3 player with the correct cable and jam along to your favourite tracks, which is cool as well. Um, we've already discussed the speaker outputs and we've got an effects loop as well, and also this is foot switchable. Um, so a really, a really great amplifier. The HT1 um, is a little bit more limited in regards to its, uh, its controls on the panel on top. We've obviously still got two channels, clean and overdrive, and we can utilize the gain and volume to manipulate where we were with this, with the kind of four classic sounds. Um, and we've got the ISF as our EQ and a reverb as well. So that's what the HT1's about, a one watt valve amplifier, nice and light, and you can still get all that great tone. I know a lot of good people around the world that swear by these and these for recording. So, coming more up to date, um, at the front line here we've got an ID15, which is our 15 watt digital series amplifiers, and it's more of a professional way of looking at things, if you like. Um, shortly after the ID series came out a couple of years ago, we brought out recently the ID Core. The ID Core is more of a home amplifier, definitely. We've got stereo speakers as opposed to one single cone, which is a standard for a guitar amplifier. Um, we've got six voices. On here we have six channels of voices but we can double it with our six choices of uh, valve options there, our power tube options. Here we don't have any of that but we have the voicing, we have gain and volume, we have EQ as our ISF and we have the same effects on each of these which we'll run through now. And then more up to date, just hitting the stores this month, um, it, just in time for the seasonal period, uh, we've got the Fly, the ba Black Star Fly, which is a small battery powered 3 watt amplifier. And you may not have seen the extension cab yet, but we've got an extension cab already plugged in, and I can show you the differences there in a moment. But this is really a great option for maybe somebody in the office, somebody in a very, very small apartment, students, anything like that. It's great. And of course, on the fly, you can take it to the park, you can go camping with it, you can take it to festivals, take a guitar with you, and away you go. Plug in your MP3 player, as we discussed. So coming round the front here, um, our ID series. So let me just run you through the generalization of this. You may have seen it all before, but it's good to remind everybody out there on YouTube and on, on obviously live this evening. So what we've got here is six voices. We've got clean, warm, clean, bright, um, crunch, super crunch, OD1 and OD2. We've got a gain and a volume stage, EQ and ISF as well. And then we've got six different valve choices for our power output tubes. We've then got 12 studio quality effects there comprising of four reverbs, four delays, and four modulation types. And you can have three simultaneous, 
and you've got a foot switch option as well at the end there. And you can get some great sounds out of this. Now the aim of ID series was to give the guitarist uh, a valve-like feel with the option of programmability, effects, that kind of thing. And also with the ID series and ID Core, you can use our optional insider software, which opens up a whole new world of things. It's a great package. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got things like a phrase trainer, on-screen tuner, online community sharing your patches and all that stuff. It's really cool. So let's go for a tone. So currently I've got a really spacious reverb on there and I'm using a clean warm with a 6L6 valve and we're kind of going for more of an American clean sound. Now if I turn the valve TVP true valve power section off, hopefully you'll be able to hear the difference. Now you might see there's two mics here and that's the reason for that is obviously we've got ID Core with two speakers here and we've got the fly with an extension speaker here but currently we've only got one of the mics on for the single cone. So this is without. with Big, big difference. Super, super long delays as well, and reverbs really, really useful. Um, so, this is a compromise with uh, you know, you could have the programmability that you wanted to save your store, your presets, and your patches, all the effects at your fingertips or on the computer, but you've got that valve feel, that instant push on the cone, and it really does feel like it. Um, now I encourage you to go into your local dealers and your local stores to try the ID series out because over your computer speakers and whatever you're using, hopefully it's monitors, headphones, whatever it might be, it does, still doesn't quite get the message across about how good these really are. Uh, they're built like a tank, you can see the timber on the side there. They're built for gigging, really. I mean, the 15 watt here, you could still play with an acoustic drummer as long as it wasn't like a, a math chord death metal band. But in anything else underneath that bar, blues, rock, in a small environment, in a small practice room, you could still get away with this 15 watt. It's as loud as Valve. Um, so let's just look at some of the sounds on here, just briefly. Um, if I just back the reverb off a touch, uh, we can go for a crunch, maybe more of a British style sound with an EL34. It's a classic sound, but we can get some really high gains as well. Overdrive 1. Maybe more of an American 6L6 vibe going on. Really, really great tone. And of course, you've got a master volume at the end there as well as your volume of the channel here so you can really get some pushed preamp sounds with bringing the master volume down so you can get some great valve like feel at low volume as well. Um, this is the smallest of the family of ID series, um, the 15 watt, we do a 30 and a 60 and then it starts to get to the more pro high end stuff. So really breathe it in, try it out, well worth it. Um, so 
onto ID Core. Um, this is really still a current model to a lot of people um, that you know they're just seeing it in stores as we speak. Um, so now we're going to put both mics on so we get the super wide stereo feel. Now super wide stereo might sound like a little bit of a gimmick at first but you've really this is the one where you need to physically see it and try it because it really immerses you in a massive massive arena of tone uh, especially with the delays and the reverbs and the mods um, really quite cool. I've got some presets already loaded in there um, so we can look around with these. Um, so this first one on a clean warm voicing is quite ambient it's got a lot of delay there, some phase and a bit of reverb and you can really hopefully get the idea of the super wide stereo and it, it doesn't necessarily sound like it's coming from here, it sounds like it's surrounding, surrounding me as I'm playing. That particular tone is like a clean bright and you can really drive the gain stage on there, it's amazing. So you can get that Hendrixy Stevie Ray sound, really useful. Great, great tone. One of my favourites on this amp. Uh, crunch, I've just put a little bit of tremolo for more of an indie style sound. Super Crunch, quite a prominent delay now. So you can really get that super wide stereo, it's very cool. Honestly, it sounds like it's over that side of the room. It's really cool. Um, and you've got your overdrives as well, so you get your high gain stuff. Um, for those guys who want a noise gate, there's going to be a noise gate built in, as with ID series as well, but you can turn that off by the software.
again, just a touch of delay there, but this is really where it kind of comes to life at home. Um, it's fantastic for the digital, uh, inexpensive market. It's one of the best amps in the world, I guarantee you. So make sure you try this. There's three in the range. There's an ID Core 10, an ID Core 20, which is this one, and an ID Core 40. There's only three, and they're all under that 200 price point. So make sure you check it out, and they start around about 90, 90 pounds in the UK. Um, so yeah, that's that's ID Core. Um, so on to our very very brand new fly. So this amplifier is definitely your kind of um, how do I say more of um, let me just move the microphone up. Sorry about this. Um, it's definitely kind of like on the go, on the fly, hence the name, and um, it's battery powered as well as mains, um, and <clears throat> you can utilize a built-in tape echo delay which is very cool and again two channels with ISF so the way the amplifier connects if I can just lose the other speaker for the moment this is how small it is sounds fantastic the aim with this product was to give somebody something small but still sounding musical usable you can get cleans on there you can get crunch on there um, on the back you can see the battery compartment consisting of six AAs. Uh, I've got to say I've had this one for myself for around about three weeks and I've used it every day and it's still still going strong. Uh, we've got a connection here for our extension speaker and a DC uh, point for our, for our adapter. Um, we've also got emulated out and headphones and MP3 line in as well. So I'll show you how that sounds in a moment. Um, I'm just going to show you the back of the extension speaker. Now you can see I've got like a coiled cable in there and you can take that pretty much as long as you want to because one of the reasons that we've, did, we've done that is so that you can use these as your multimedia speakers for your laptop or computer and they sound fantastic. This is 3 watts by itself but when you purchase the extension speaker um, you get 6 watts. So there's a lot of power there and a lot of people have been genuinely very surprised by the level coming out of these. So I'm just going to get the speaker in the back ready to plug in but I'm not going to connect it just yet. Now let's see where we're at. This is the clean channel all being well. <laughs> So nice and clean, very musical, you can get that kind of Now the more you push the gain stage, there's basically a gain in the volume stage. If I push the gain stage now, we can get the clean with the breakup, you know, pretty cool. If I go to the bridge, humbucker, definitely a bit more bite, a bit more gain. Really nice. Now let me just introduce a little bit of tape echo. Uh, we have a time control of the delay and also a delay level. So if you have a really short delay time, you can increase that level there and you can... My attempt at chicken picking there, which, uh, <laughs> you know. Pretty cool. So if I open up the time a little bit, a bit more ambience there, a little bit more level. Pretty 
cool and, and the most spacious we can get it um, as far as time and level <laughs> But it, at least it gives you that wet sound for playing, so we can hide behind your solos like like most of us do, I do especially. So you can really introduce that delay. Um, if we just turn the delay down, and then go over to the overdrive channel, if we back the gain off, we're now definitely in the realms of, of crunch. <laughs> So I've got the gain roughly around about quarter two there, and you can kind of get the classic bluesy style sound. If I introduce a lot more gain, this is about as really as scream as you can get it. Now what I'm going to do, as I'm playing, I'm going to introduce the second speaker. Yes, believe it or not, that was just the Fly 3 by itself, 3 watts. So when I introduce this, you're going to get a little bit more mid, a little bit more low end, and 6 watts as opposed to 3. So hopefully you'll hear the difference when this microphone starts picking up the extension speaker. <laughs> Really, really cool. So that's the Fly 3. Now there's going to be a couple of options for you when they hit the stores at uh, the end of this month, December time, just in time for Christmas. You can buy the Fly 3 by itself and you can buy the extension speaker by itself, but actually we're doing a pack as well. This won't really hit stores till next year, uh, maybe January onwards, uh, maybe sooner, but you can buy both together with a DC power supply as well to power it. So remember you can you know, use it for your multimedia purposes as well as guitar. Perfect for the office. Um, so I'm just going to show you before I leave today um, an MP3 line in um, just to show you what it sounds like when you're playing along to a track. But also what's very, very cool um, is you can play, you know, your iPad through there as well and your computer and play games and it sounds really, really good because the speakers are linear. Um, so this is a, just a basic blues track, but I'm just going to jam along so you can hear how clear it does sound. Again, a little carried away there, but yeah, it's um, it sounds great. You know, you can really push the level a little more than that. But hopefully, the microphones picked it up really well there. So make sure you come and check out the fly in your local stores, and uh, it'd be a perfect 
Christmas present for anyone that you know that might play guitar if you're thinking about that. So listen guys, I've got to go now, but um, thank you so much for tuning in this evening. Um, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for watching. We really appreciate your support for Blackstar and here at Blackstar we try to innovate and push the boundaries a little further as always. Uh, hopefully giving you the guitarist all the tools to do what you need to do. So remember to follow us on all the social media outlets of course. Um, obviously uh, our website, the Instagram page, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff to keep up to date with artist news and, and where we're at with Blackstar around the world. And uh, any questions that you might have, just fly them to inquiries at blackstaramps.com. I've been Steve for Blackstar this evening, and uh, thanks for watching the webcast, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, thank you.